My grandfather had a dream that did not come true. And we made it with the Battista. I was told that Nino had a special uh, relation with my father and my grandfather. The first time he, he raced was with my grandfather. Piniferina is recognized around the world uh, for elegant design and in history. The Nino Farina edition uh, is the next car to promise these characteristics to discerning collectors. It expresses very well the character of Nino because it's a mix of elegance and sportiness. This project that we are presenting today fills me with a lot of emotion. It is an honor for me to accept the responsibility of Pininfarina's design legacy. Battista represents the very first Pininfarina car with the beige on the bonnet. And it became the first electric vehicle car recognized in a Concorso d'Eleganza with the Design Award. I really fall in love with the fact that both Battista and Nino together became absolutely genius in their respective field, having two genius in the same family. That was, you know, a spark, like boom, like really. We have to create uh, something that other company cannot do. And uh, I imagine in my mind that uh, Nino Farina was driving and uh, on the passenger seat there is Battista. This story gave me goosebumps. It was important to get every detail right. This car is the ultimate tribute to Formula One's first world champion. We really wanted to use as an inspiration the Cheese Italia. So red came naturally to us, and uh, the idea was really to uh, get this retro feeling, but at the same time, I wanted to give it to it modern feeling. So it's a color that when it's in sunlight, gets a totally cool reflection against the warm red, and it's really unexpected. And then we wanted to have the Iconica Blue, which is one of our signature color, and the Sestriere White. And finally, the gold was a choice that came naturally again because it's the color of victory, the color of the champion. For us, this was doing something that would have really impressed Nino. The Battista Nino Farina is plain fierce, and orchestrating this requires highly technical people, highly skilled people, in order to master every single detail. Battista Nino Farina has over five times the power which Nino had back in the 50s. The current level of technology exceeds anything that an internal combustion engine could reach with immediate torque delivery and no emissions. Nino went beyond the limit of what was possible and we have done the same. It's my job to build it, to make it happen. It's a pleasure to have the possibility to build such level of car every day. We take care from the beginning while we have uh, the incoming of the rolling chassis till the end of the final build. So just to give you some numbers, we are speaking more than 1,350 components that we fit in, from the small parts to the biggest one. Inside the 10 weeks of production uh, of Batista, we have two weeks dedicated to the body in white assembly. Then we have four weeks minimum for painting. Then we have two weeks for trim, another two for commissioning and having the car up and running. We do not refer to our workers as workers, but as artisans. I strongly believe in uh, a shared leadership. That's why we try to engage every single artisan in every part of the build. Some say I have the best job at Automobili Pininfarina. I push the car to the limit. I explore the boundaries of Battista's performance. One of the biggest challenges, even probably for Nino Farina, driving uh, a Battista, especially a Nino Farina uh, edizione, uh, would be the, the challenge that you can't actually floor it all the time. It's a very serious job. Yeah.